argue he is the greatest welterweight champion in UFC history, even if he does not make the walk as such here tonight. The Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman, chasing further greatness under the lights tonight. Just chasing greatness. He's done that time and time again. This guy's profile continues to evolve from becoming the welterweight champion of the world to passing George St. Pierre in the welterweight rankings to being a star in movies with speaking roles. Yeah. The guy is doing everything. But ultimately, in order to do all that, he's got to win. He's got to win tonight, and he has won on many occasions. How does he bounce back from that loss to Leon Edwards? It's time to find out. You're exactly right, and in the aftermath of that Edwards result at UFC 278, he seemed to handle things pretty well. But obviously, that clock is about to start, and all eyes are going to be on the former champ, Kamal Usman. And now the reason we're all here, the truth, the answer, the problem. Guys, welcome to Ace Gaming. You're about to see one hell of a knockout from boy Nat Turner. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise at the fighter meeting. It's going down. And that is this significant challenge that he's going to the Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage yet again. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of rest of history has played out years since. Eddie Hahn Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC paper. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usma. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Mountain. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the frontrunner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next like level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. All right, so there's the takedown from Kamal Usman. We know he has fallen in love with his jab and his hands a little bit, but back to his bread and butter early in this one. Well, that's his roots, right? For as good as he is in the stand-up, for as powerful as the jab is, it's always going to be the wrestling of Kamal Usman that's going to lead the game, whether it's offensive or defensive. Kamal Usman will wrestle if he ever wants to be the champion again. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a Great double leg. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All 
All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body. Oh, oh, he got out. He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet. Chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Just misses with the straight leg. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. That's it. Now we start to see some redness under the... First position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. He a lot of fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big grounded bomb. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh! How is this? Both men going for the finish. An uppercut leader. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, quick level change. He see. went single. Oh! Oh! Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a... Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice jab there by Usman. Nice. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Usman going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh! oh he got switch the lock to a high cross, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Usman gets back up again. Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman 
that shows in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best one, but great timing on that double leg. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently like defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity in which he's throwing these ground strikes. They start to, they start to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready, that your chin is. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. My right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Quick entry. Oh! Nice big take down. What a technique. What a take down. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, it's right there. Boom, 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 boom. It's like me running anywhere, John. Beautiful combination by the champ in there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Oh! oh Juno throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips in, and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to play. Oh, well play shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big match. Hooks that really has put his opponent on skates. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet, and now he's attempting to choke. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. This has got to be the end of the fight. Oh, he got out. out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side, a to his back to release that pressure. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. And there it is! Holy smokes! Takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. I mean, wow. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, and still the undisputed USC Walter Listen to the roar of the crowd. It feels great. Thanks, guys, for watching. Tune in for the next fight. Till then, enjoy the knockouts. Right, so his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds.